So far we have seen the mathematics, the formulation behind an egg shape curve and we also derived its, its uh, relationship with a circle which was compressed to get an ellipse and which was made asymmetric by some means. Now we are going to look at some mechanisms and parametric designs which can give us the same curve but we'll be doing it in a uh, more physical manner in, in terms of some linkages and uh, things that move. So this is more of a kinematic definition. For that we'll start with uh, ellipse. We know that the parametric equation of an ellipse is x is equal to a cos theta and y is equal to b sin theta. So these are basically horizontal and vertical projections of two different lengths a and b. And here are a and b. a is the radius of this larger circle, b is the radius of this smaller circle. We have taken a radius at some angle theta and we are going to project the larger radius a in the vertical manner and smaller radius b in the horizontal direction. So cos and sine uh, are those projections. And if we change theta, basically this r is going to rotate as theta runs from 0 to 360 to complete one circuit. And you can see various points are being traced with various positions of the radius, various values of theta. Uh, we can turn this curve on and you will see all these points are lying on the elliptical curve that we have underneath. So this is the way of generating ellipse. Now let us see what we can do to make this asymmetric. For that I am going to take this radius and uh, instead of starting it from the center I am going to shift it a little bit. So I am going to give it a little bit of offset. So of course we can't call it a radius anymore but uh, the basic mechanism is the same. This is a fixed point around which this line will be rotating. This line is intersecting the two circles. One point of intersection is projected vertically, the other is projected horizontally. Of course, in, that in this case, the angular coordinate of these points are not the same. So our equation is going to shift uh, to x is equal to a cos theta 1, y is equal to b sin theta 2. So not only the radii are different, but even the angles also are different. Uh, let us see what kind of curve get it gets traced this time. And you would see on the right it is more rounded while on the left it is kind of pointy like an egg. So if you do it fast enough you will see that egg shape emerging from all these points. Let's turn on the actual curve and you would see all these points are lying on the egg shape. Uh, let us see one more mechanism of doing the same thing. Let's start cooking up this mechanism with the very basic ingredient of a egg shape curve and that is nothing but a circle. Of course this is a mechanism so this is not just a theoretical geometric circle but it is a circular groove or a circular guide something uh, physical. Uh, engaging in this guide or groove is a pin over here so it is capable of going round the circle like this. And then I am going to extract the x coordinate of this pin. Uh, one can do that with slotted links like that, uh, which is constrained to move in a horizontal direction. So as the pin goes around the circle, this is moving in the horizontal manner, extracting the x coordinate. Then I am going to extract the y coordinate as well. But when I do that, I am going to process it. I am going to make it asymmetric so that the y coordinate gets scaled differently on the right and left half. So it will be more on one side less on the other side. One way of getting that is by introducing not the linear projection but an angular projection. So let us introduce a rocker, a slotted link again engaging with the pin but it is not moving, it is not translating but rotating instead. And this is fixed at one point over here and then you can see the length of this red link, the rocker, engaging with this pin is continuously changing. It is less on the left half and more on the right half. And therefore even the angular motion of this link is going to be more on the left side but less on the right side. So let us extract this asymmetry by introducing one more slotted link that engages with this slot here. So here is a fixed slotted link and wherever these two slots meet 
I am going to introduce the horizontal projection. So let us introduce a link which is capable of just translating up and down along this groove. But now it is taking the projection of this point. And we have already seen that when the pin is in the, on the left half, the angular motion is more. On the right half, the angular motion is less. And therefore, that asymmetry that we had uh, you know, introduced using this rocker is now extracted and assigned to this light link, light blue link. Let us have both the links now, both the projections, so horizontal and vertical. And between these two blue links, light and uh, dark, if we introduce a pin or a pencil, then we are going to get the curve we are looking for. So here is the curve that we were looking for, the egg shape being traced by uh, the intersection of these two blue slotted links, light and dark. So this is one more way of getting the egg shape curve.